everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am here with blocks number three and four for our quilt along. I thought I'd sneak in two blocks in this video. I think I am going to do 12 total. I don't know, if I run out of steam, I may stop at nine. We'll see how it goes, but don't worry. You can continue and make your, uh, your quilt as big as you want. You can just repeat some of the squares. Or you can do like I showed you, if something can be turned, like this strip here at the bottom, you can put that together and then you can turn it. So it would not be like any other block in your quilt. You've got plenty of options. But look at that. I have partial panels. It comes with the territory. And I thought I would put some in this quilt. I'll probably do some in four blocks, maybe six. You know, I have some like this. I cut some out. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the whole block because this is a scrappy quilt. So I could like do just the face of a dog, something like that, you know, just cut it down. But this one, I needed a pretty big piece and that's what I used. So this is block number three. And let me give you the measurements, but I'll have a link in the description box that will take you to my blog that will show you the layout and the sizes. So you don't have to worry about that. And um, okay, so I have a pointer. <laughs> a is eight wide by four tall. B, two wide by two and a half tall. C, two square, two inches square. D, three and a half wide by four tall. E, three wide by four tall. F, three inches square, G is six and a half inches square, H, four wide by six and a half tall, I, four wide by three tall, J, three and a half wide by three tall, uh, K is six wide by three tall. We can put this together any way we want. I will start by connecting these two little suckers and then I will connect this to this and this to this. I have this strip put together and if you notice I have a solid here. I have a little bit of this purple solid and I thought I would try to put that in here and there. Anything goes. Let's put these two together and then attach them to this and attach this to that. Looking pretty good. Going to do those three. Now all we have left to do is attach this here and this here. Quick as that, we are done. And I'm not trimming until I'm ready to sew them together. I really like it. Now I'll tell you, I just cut these pieces out by looking at my little layout chart. I did not plan ahead and, you know, try to put anything together. I don't care about that. I like it to be organic. I just cut a bunch of pieces to fit the sizes I needed and uh, whatever works, works. So then I didn't plan for this guy, but I thought, oh, I need a six and a half by a six and a half. And I was able to um, get that out of the doggy. So I went with it. Okay, let me set up and we will do block four. Here is block number four. And I know it doesn't look like it's going to work. but <laughs> I do want to say, Sometimes I design these blocks when I'm very tired and uh, you probably shouldn't put anything together uh, or do your cutting at least until we see if it works because I could make a mistake. Let me tell you the sizes that I have. I like, I like my handy dandy pointer. We have, get back in line, uh, A, seven and a half wide by three and a half tall, B, five and a half wide by five tall. That needs to go like this. C, three and a half wide by two tall. D, three wide by two tall. E, two inches square. F, three and a half wide by two tall. G, two inches square. And I can opt to have the lines going up and down or sideways. I'm going with sideways. H, our doggy, five wide, six and a half tall, and I, eight inches square. I want to include some eight inch squares in there just because it, you know, 
speeds things up a little bit. All right, I'm going to start by putting these three together, and I'll put these two together. Okay, that worked. This now fits to this because of our seams, and this will fit to this. So let me put these two together and that together. It's going to work. Now when you have something that's 5 by 5.5, 5, you could put a little sticker or something on there, you know, to let you know which way is 5 and which way is 5.5. Because it's hard to just tell, but I can tell. But let's check anyway. Yeah, 5.5 wide by 5 tall. I'm good to go. I will put this together and this together, and then I will just finish the block. I really like this one. It was, you know, accidental that I had something orangishy there and something kind of like a salmon color there. And I like it. See, I just like things that just happen. And I want to tell you, when we get to trimming, um, you can trim from both sides if you want, you know, all four sides. Or you can, uh, you know, if you don't want to lose this black, or say the doggy was a little bit closer, you could just, you know, trim what you need to, but then take off more on this edge, depending what size block you're going down to. Looks like I'll be, you know, taking mine down to 12. I think I said that before. I think that's what the plan was. And I set it up to be a 12 and a half inch block, so we have some wiggle room. I guess that's about it. This is what we made today. I'm so happy I'm going to have some scattered doggies. And I will on purpose, you know, do some where it's just partial dog, just to get you used to just cutting shit up and not worrying about it. <laughs> you know, sometimes we find a, a panel or, you know, some people get panels from me on eBay where there's a panel and it's cut, cut crooked, and that's why it's on eBay. And you can use that. You can use it in a scrappy quilt or you can use it in crumb quilts. So nothing is ever wasted, especially for crumb quilts. You can put anything in there. I'm going to take some pictures. And I will, uh, again, remind you, the link is in the description box of this video. And you can go and grab the um, layout, sizes, all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so you can get the rest of this series. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.